Hello, everybody. Bobby Fye here with my five and five. We're going to talk through my five favorite plays in five minutes. Um, I, as you guys know, this is not really just my five favorite plays. We're going to be talking about basically just different things we're going to be targeting on this slate. So Conley and Clarkson, uh, you can play them together. I think you can pick them apart. I think it's going to be really hard not to play at least one of them in all your lineups on both sides. But uh, that's that's the way I'm approaching the slate. So they are going to be uh, priorities, and I will have some lineups with them together. But again, uh, mostly it's going to be one of them for me with some Nikhil Alexander-Walker or some Gobert in there, um, potentially even some Royce O'Neal. You know, it's hard not to like the Utah side with the bodies they're missing. Love Devin Booker tonight. No idea why the projections aren't higher on him. My guess is that will change as the day goes on and people start to come to their senses. Uh, 9,100, simply too cheap. Uh, he's my favorite play. I do like McCollum also in the same price range. Um, I think you could throw in from that, that same game uh, because of game environment, you could say Joe Val as well. But I, uh, I like Booker and McCollum, and I think you could play both of them in, in some of the same lineups as your spend-ups and not going all the way up. Um, because there's a lot of good back and forth. You could do the Trey and, and Ja, you could do the Embiid and Luca, but I'm sort of going to that next tier down is a lot of how I'm approaching it. And it's because of guys like Booker and McCollum and then getting into the next range. I really like Tatum and Brown in this matchup, this up pace matchup down in Sacramento. I feel like this is a really good spot for both of them. Uh, giving a slight edge to Tatum, but I don't think it's that much. I think it's really close between the two of them. And I, I love the prices on both at 95 and 7,500. In Phoenix, I'm going to play a ton of Booker, which means I want some run back. And I like this spot. You know, it's better than it, than, than it uh, usually is for the Bulls. And we finally have them priced down. DDR is down to 9K. Uh, he's my favorite. Vooch at 8,100, I think, is a strong play. And I think Levine at 7,700 is a strong play. So those are going to be the, the guys I rotate uh, with my Booker lineups, who is my favorite of all those play of all the, uh, the plays on the slate as of right now. But I love the idea of running it back with one of these guys. And uh, that is assuming, of course, that Levine does play. If he doesn't, we have plenty of other guys we can swap to. And then I've got the value tier, which is going to change. I think you want to try to slant the value to later. So no, Nikhil Alexander-Walker being the, the most desirable, probably, with uh, the news of Trent Forrest being out. But I don't mind taking shots on Dunn. I think his minutes are in flux, but I, I don't mind it because of the, the 3K price tag. I'm pairing some of these guys together. Avdia and Hachimura both have upside to, to maybe 8 or 9X. And it's always hard to pick what's going to happen with Washington, but I don't mind taking shots on both those guys. But I prefer uh, Nikhil Alexander-Walker to all of them. Anyway, uh, Barrett and Randall, I think they're both in good, good plays on DraftKings, but their prices on FanDuel are hard to ignore and a good matchup. So 7K for Barrett, 8,600 for Randall. Uh, Randall will be lower owned. Barrett is a really good play for cash games and for tournaments. Uh, it's a hard fade. Uh, if you're going to fade him, I think playing Randall is a good idea. Clarkson and Conley, again, we talked about that already, nothing more to add. Easier to get all the spend-ups in over here, but Luka, this is how I have them rated, Luka, Jokic, Embiid, Harden. I like the idea of getting exposure to the low-owned Harden while he's below 10K. It's it, He's going to put up 70 one of these days, and even with like the lack of like really strong production, he's still been pretty solidly like 5Xing this price tag. We're coming close to it. And I don't mind taking that shot here. I know it's not a great matchup, but he's going to put up a big number really soon, and this game should be close. He should play like 40 minutes. If it is, and uh, I like the idea of getting some exposure to the low owned Harden, who will definitely be the lowest owned of those guys. Uh, then I've got the same thing for value, Nah, Dunn, um, Nas, Nikhil Alexander Walker, uh, and then Kleber and Powell, not together, but one of those two, I think, makes some sense, although it's a little bit Marquise Chris is back, and we both know Kleber and Powell can play a bunch of minutes and not do much. I still think there's enough upside for them, and I like that game as a mini stack a little bit, so I don't mind adding one of those guys who don't really take away from Luca. And then Kyle Lowry, this is just a price point play. He's 5,500. I'm probably going to play him. He wasn't in my first build because I almost just overlooked that he was 5,500, but I think he's a really strong, strong play. Guys, please give the like and uh, subscribe and all that stuff. If you don't already join our discord, jump, jump on truedfs.com. We've made great changes to the site and it's looking better every day. I have posted all my early builds so you can see where my, at least the start today. We know in basketball, there's going to be a million things that change it, but that's where the day's starting. I put all my bets of the day up over there. Sheets has got the best projections in the industry. So make sure to check it out. And uh, with all that being said, good luck to everyone tonight. I hope that somebody takes it down. I will be live with you at 545 Eastern and let's make some money, y'all.